Hello, friends, and welcome to Tabletop Tonight. My name is Ruel Gaviola. This is my lovely wife, Michelle. Hello. And we play board games. We sometimes play board games with our daughter, Lauren, sometimes with ourselves, sometimes by myself, sometimes I solo, but tonight is Two for Tuesday. I decided earlier that I just made this name up as like, hey, we're playing two games <laughs> uh, for two players, and it's Tuesday, so Should welcome. Should drinking some tea? I know. No. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm eating tacos. <laughs> Uh, friends, thank you again for hanging out. I see Game Jedi, Toro, Silver, um, Slackfish, uh, Amanda Panda is our chat moderator. As always, please keep things PG-13, or she will bust out the band hammer, which she did the other night to a spam bot. And I see that uh, people are referring, we're talking about um, Amanda's stream from the other night, where <laughs> <laughs> apparently I betrayed someone, uh, Victor, <laughs> Toro, thank you. <laughs> Uh, did I uh, did I betray them in today's stream, uh, Amanda? Yeah. So Ruel betrayed you, Monique, and the 3D printer on board in East Hill. Yeah. Apparently, um, I think it was Tom Posh. Um, I became his best friend oh. today for some reason. <laughs> I, now I forgot what it was, but Amanda will fill in on the details. Um, we're hanging out, having a good time. Um, I know some of y'all were in the Brothers Murph um, stream. Thanks for coming over. Hang out with them. You know, come hang out with us too. Uh, they are prepping for this big marathon gaming session they're, they're doing where they're getting their games ready in order to play through all of them. I think in a week or something like that. That's yeah, nuts. It, it's totally nuts. It's like 200 games or something. But... You know, we love the Brothers Murph, we appreciate their support, and we thank you for coming over here. Um, as we always do here, if you're new to the stream, we love to talk about food. And one of our favorite things to do is learn what you're eating and or drinking, and we call it the stream snack. So whatever you uh, partake of during the stream, please, please let us know in the chat. Uh, what did you have for dinner tonight, babe? Spaghetti. Leftover spaghetti. Leftover spaghetti. And I had leftover pupusas. Um, yeah, that's... Pretty much what we did, right? Yes, the there thing. was no cooking going on no, today. No, <laughs> no cooking today. Um, we did have, we do have some of these stream snacks. Uh, we had, we had these, the, or I, we found these the other day um, at our local seafood city, uh, Philippine, um, Filipino supermarket. Uh, these dried mango tamarind balls, they're really delicious. It's mango with tamarind, they're chewy, they're totally addicting, they're so good. Um, you can find these at um, any Asian market, and I think you can probably buy them online too, but. We highly recommend them. Uh, yeah, we're always got to keep them over there because I'll eat them all. Yeah, Michelle's eaten like a, a couple of them already. Well, so. I had two just before we started, and I have two for my snack during our games. <laughs> and I told her I'll take the <coughs> bag away from me because, yeah, I will eat them. Yeah. <laughs> Again, I have no control. <laughs> no control. So what are your stream snacks? Uh, Amanda's got, ooh, maple kettle corn. Yum. Uh, I didn't have my garlic salt. No, the garlic salt is still in my um, Global Delicious box, which the box is in the trash now, but uh, the garlic salt is back in the cupboard. Yes, it is. Yes. The plastic's still on it. <laughs> we have Game... plenty of garlic salt. <laughs> Game Jedi uh, says the Brothers Murph have the uh, Justin Bieber game. <laughs> I know they they uh. have legit played it. I, I, I'm so curious. I want to see what it's like. Uh, what does Slackfish say? Someone said uh, Slackfish has so. Uh, scroll down. Scroll down? Or, or the other way. Uh, oh. Dinner was... Ooh, mango, mango curry, curry tofu. tofu. Yum, yeah. That sounds delightful. That does sound delightful. Uh, so, yeah, friends, continue talking about food. We love talking about food here. Um, yeah. Dinner foods, snack foods, whatever you have. All good with us. Uh, tonight's stream, so what the plan is we're going to play two games uh, because it's uh, two for Tuesday. Uh, Michelle and I, these are games that are new to us, but they've been out for a while, especially um, the first one, Shot and Totten. So I'll just show, actually let me, uh, if I do the magic trick, the use the forest. Here we are, this is Shot and Totten. This game is from our friends at Yellow, and it is a classic uh, Reiner Knizia game. And I wanted to play some Knizia games yesterday, but we got busy and we had other things uh, going on. We also had a sponsored stream. Oh, by the way, how'd you all like, um, uh, what was it, Rule Benders? I was, we were surprised. I, I'll be honest, I wasn't really too sure at first. I mean, it did seem interesting, but it played a lot more, I don't know, it was it was better than I thought it would be. And I know you might have had some reservations at first, or... Oh well, yeah, I mean, just like, <coughs> seeing the board, I'm like, oh my gosh, it takes like almost the whole table. Yeah, it, and that, a, that itself was kind of intimidating. Yeah. But, you know, just after a few rounds, and like actually like, kind of getting used to what yeah. we're supposed to do. Yeah. Um, and winning. <laughs> I <laughs> she, love the game. <laughs> she did win. 
But yeah, I mean, you're really, you just do one action per turn, yeah. right? You're just either placing a cube or you're playing a card. But there are a lot of different, like, parts that you have to consider. Yeah. And, like, how are you going to change the rules in your favor, you know? I had a hard enough time just, you know, playing with one set of rules yeah. and then having it changed. I'm yeah. Like, oh. Yeah. It's just brain. Yeah, and Cypress, um, nice, nice comment. So I can see the light coming on for Michelle as the game went on. Yeah. yeah. And I, I, I love that about certain games where, you know, it's you struggle at first a little bit, but then that light goes off. It's like, okay, now I get it. That's every game for me. <laughs> yeah. I, I go, no, I do that a lot too. Like, um, there's just games where it just takes me for whatever reason. Like, I feel like those type of games click faster for me. But then games like the spatial ones, those click faster for you. Yeah. You got that spatial thing going. And that's one of the games we're going to play tonight, folks, is uh, Ahael, which is basically the Tetris, the board game, which we both enjoyed. Um, yeah. But circling back to what we're doing here, <coughs> we have the reason why we're playing Shot and Totten, this game. It's from one of my favorite designers, uh, Reiner Knizia. And this one, just again, for whatever reason, well, okay, so the guys publish over 600 games. So, of course, you're not going to play them all. And this one has just flown by me. I've seen it in the stores. I've seen it in board game cafes. For whatever reason, it just never got to the table. So, Yellow sent a copy um, recently, well, a little while ago. And it just got to the table. We loved it. I absolutely love it. It's right up there with me as far as two-player Kinesias. Like, if y'all like Lost Cities, this, <clears throat> I don't know, this might replace, uh, not replace, but this I might enjoy more than Lost Cities. As much as I like Lost Cities, this one is really special as well. And like other Kinesias, um, I've said this before, where I like his games because the rules low, uh, rules overhead is pretty low. There's not like pages and pages of rules, but the gameplay, like every turn, there's like tension, really a lot of decisions uh, to make. Um, and yeah, so we want to play games. Oh, so guys, I, I'm just rambling. Um, I wanted to play Kinesia games yesterday because it was a good doctor's birthday. Dr. Kinesia turned whatever age he is. Um, but we had, you know... Plenty nine. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, plenty nine. <laughs> <laughs> he is, um, you know, I, I believe he's still in Germany or whatever. But anyways, he... Um, I, we wanted to play some games yesterday in his honor, but we had the sponsored uh, stream. But today I said, you know, we should play one of his games in his honor. So this is for the good doctor, uh, Reiner Kinesia. Or we're going to play his game, and why don't we just jump right into it? Okay, no. And um, y'all hang out, because we're going to play this, we're going to play Ahael, and then uh, Michelle's going to take off, and I'm going to hang out with y'all, do a crossword, some crossword puzzles, because I want to uh, hang out till at least 8.30, because my buddy Patrick, he's just getting into Twitch streaming, he's really enjoying it, and I'd love to raid him and uh, bring him a few more um, uh, eyeballs to his uh, stream. So, uh, Sackfish, oh, okay, Dr. Kedizia's... And oh. born in 57, so he's 63. Nice. That's pretty young. Yeah. Um, so I think he's a doctor of, is it mathematics or something? Really? Yeah, yeah. And he's just, you know, he eventually just started, you know, creating games. And I think uh -huh. now he's a full, I mean, he's been a full-time game designer for years, I believe. But yeah. Wow. He is, I mean, prolific, right? Um, from his BGP, he earned a PhD in mathematics and has previously worked in the banking industry. Yeah. His games are wonderful. Folks, we, I mean, chat, just throw out your favorite Kinesia games, or even your least favorite. I mean, he has so many. My all-time favorite is Samurai. We're going to eventually play it here. Shot and Totten's great. Um, we've played Indigo, um, which we've enjoyed. Remember High Society? The, yeah. That yeah was that's, his, that's his game. Oh. Uh, Ingenious, which I played with Lauren. Uh, Indigo's that one. It's like Suro, but for gamers. Yeah, yeah. That's his game as well. Um, we have another one here that we're going to play soon called uh, uh, The Quest for El Dorado. That's Kinesia's take on a deck building game, but it's a race. It's really good. So we'll play that one as well. Um, but anyways, uh, let's play. Let me use the force real quick. <laughs> In Shot and Totten, um, I'm going to be on this side. Michelle's going to be on this side. We're battling for f five of these stones, okay? The, the winner to capture five stones first, uh, the person who captures five stones first wins, or you can capture three stones in a row and you'll automatically win. How do you play? It's a card card driven game. Um, so there are, I believe six suits numbered one through nine, okay? And again, Yellow did a fantastic job. Oh, actually, Michelle, could you throw this on to the uh, camera over there? Mm -hmm. uh, let's see if I can do them a little magic here. You want them like overlapping? Um, 
No, let's... Yeah, whatever we can fit here. Well, first I'll show you the player aid that we have. Hey, look at that. That's the player aid. So the cards are ranked from strongest to weakest. You have the color run, the three of a kind, color run, and um, sum. So starting at the top, the color run, that's basically, like in poker, a straight flush. Um, four, five, six, uh, or three, four, five, all of the same suit. Uh, these are all uh, poker base hands. You're only playing three per stone. You also have three of a kind. That's three sixes, three fives, three nines, whatever. Color. If you have the same suit, the same color, that's a flush. They call it a color here. A run. That's a straight. Two, three, four, four, five, six, etc. And finally, the sum. You just have your cards and you just total up the sum if they don't match up. Okay. And then I'll have Michelle show you a few cards there. Put it on our fancy. Do you want them one by one? Uh, sure. Or just uh, next to each other. Yeah. That's, okay. That's fine. Thanks. Look at that. Can you see all of them? No. You can see it. One, two, three. That's good. Okay. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Okay. So just, I just wanted to highlight how, again, publishers, if anyone's a game designer out there or a publisher, look at what they did here. They have the one, the two, and the six. Okay. You notice the six has a little dot near it, so you know which way it is. It's not a nine. And the colors are different. But what did they do, folks, for each color, for colorblind accessibility and approachability? They put a unique symbol, and that's how players like me who have funky eyes or eyes that are um, need a little help, I can play this game no problem because of that. Uh, let's see. Uh, game Jedi, favorite game, Lord of the Rings, a classic. BGG's first game in their database was D-Mocker, so the first designer ID is for the designer of that game. Kenitsi is designer ID number two. <laughs> wow. He's number one in our hearts, of course. <laughs> but anyways, that's the cards, folks. Very simple. And what we're going to do, uh, Michelle and I, um, we'll go ahead. And, yeah, if you could just leave the player up the up there, please, for the, our friends at home for now. Thank you. I'll shuffle these up. And what we're going to do, we have a hand of six cards. And on your turn, you play one card on any one stone. When you've played three cards on a stone, you may no longer play any cards. When both players have placed uh, three cards on both sides, you will resolve them. And the highest um, card, or the highest hand, according to the player aid, will win that stone. And you just move it over here to your side. Okay. Uh, Stackfish, yeah, is this the theme? Some kind of crazy Scottish thing. I, yeah, it's some kind of Scottish that has like a chicken or whatever. I don't know if y'all can see that. I have no idea. It's I was obviously play, pasted on. Uh, there was the GMT version of this game called Battle Line. Same game, but they use like some like warriors. I don't know if it's like Roman warriors or whatever. I, I think this is fine. This is totally approachable. It's all about the game. Um, the little um, slogan on there says "Kill or be killed." K I L T. <laughs> Kill or be killed. There it is. So we're just gonna jump right in, folks. If you have questions, let us know. I. Again, we played this for the first time just this weekend during our non-streaming uh, days, and it was a blast. We really enjoyed it. Oh, let me take this off here. Doo, 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 doo. And so we can see again. Yep. Uh, I do want to mention our stream today is brought to you by our friends at Van Ryder Games and Game Brewer. Game Brewer was the company that um, published the Rule Benders game that we streamed last um, last night. It's on now on Kickstarter, been fully funded. So, again, folks, thank you again for joining us. Uh, I'm Ruel Gaviola, here with my wife, Michelle, and we play games. Amanda did a great job yesterday. Agreed. Amanda from Game Roar was fantastic. And, Michelle, would you like to go first? Sure. Okay, well, I don't know why I'm shuffling my hand. I need to get these things in order. Um, I will do this. Okay. I'll leave these over here so you can draw afterwards. So, you oh, play a card, right. then you draw a card. You will always have uh, six cards in your hand. So Michelle's got that nine there. I don't know what she's going to do. Um, but I'm going to play a six right here. Let me draw a card. Um, I will play a five. Okay. Hi, James. Thanks for joining us. We are playing Shot and Totten from our friend Dr. Kenizia. We're celebrating his birthday from, it's actually a belated birthday yesterday to Kenizia. One of my favorite, all-time favorite designers. Shot and Totten is one of many games that I've enjoyed of his. Um, I need to, oh, Michelle's going to five there. Interesting. Um, why don't I go with a three here? Draw a card. Thanks for all the emotes, James. Much appreciated. Yes, uh, 
We just played Chantam for the first time this weekend, and we loved it, and we just couldn't wait to play it here on screen. Uh-oh. Michelle got two fives. <laughs> Are you going to commentate? <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, commentating over here. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to go with two trays. Oh, okay then. Well, I think I will do, what am I going to do? What you going to do when they come for mm -hmm. you? Copyright strike. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to hum it, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, I'm going to play this one right here. Hmm, what are you up to over there? I cannot tell. Cannot tell me, huh? No. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you that I am going to go with... Let's, I'll go two. So we're going to we're competing for that. I've got the two there. Uh, we don't resolve until three cards are in each. So it's interesting because <laughs> there, there can be times when someone has three cards and it doesn't get resolved because the opponent plays away from them. Uh, baby girl is currently crying, so can't hear you guys. But, oh, great to see you to live in nice LA. Uh, we got to wait to see your baby girl in real life. Um, hopefully she stops yeah. crying. At least your baby girl is a two-time champion. If, folks, if you don't know, the Los Angeles Lakers and the Los Angeles Dodgers won their respective uh, championships. And our friend to live in nice LA, their baby girl was born around that time when the Dodgers and Lakers were winning. Oh, you put that three there? Darn it. Okay. Let's go with this. Uh, ah, really? Slackfish, my Knizia games. Oh, I gotta scroll up to this. Um, Quest for El Dorado, yes. Modern Art, yes. Oh, Carcass, really? Carcass on the Castle's his? I did not know that. Lost Cities, yes. High Society, yes. Indeed. The only one that sort of fell, fell flat for me was Modern Art, but I, I would like to try that one again. I do love Raw. I enjoyed Raw. But I did not know he did a Carcass on uh, game. Now I want to get that. Four there, huh? Interesting. Uh, boy, let's go five here. Hmm. It's only two player, and I think it's hard to find. <laughs> to live a night. So let's go, LA. Yes, I try to uh, plug it at least once per stream. Uh, to <laughs> Just once. Night. So just once per stream. And actually, I, I, I was able to plug it during uh, Board in East L.A. today, so that was fun. Oh. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, let's go to one there. Oh. Now we're gonna start battling for something. It's starting to get crowded, so I'm gonna go to seven here. Oh. oh my goodness. Ah. Is that the same suit? Mm -hmm. Boo earns. Okay, well. Jeez, am I really going to... Ah, this game is already killing me. Let's put this nine here, apparently. Yeah. Is that a straight flush? It is a straight flush. Ugh! Oh, man, oh, man, that hurts. That's going to leave a mark. Um, wow. All right, I'm going to put... I'll go one over here. Um, so can you claim that? I forget if you can claim that one right away. It's the only other thing. Well, I mean, even if you put like a five, it would still. 
I yeah. would still get it. Yeah, and I can't put the eight because the eight's here. Um, so I think it's one of the next two. Um, yep. So Michelle, because she has a straight flush here, the best I could do is tie with the six, seven, eight of the same suit, but the eight's already been played. So she can prove that she already has it. So she has one stone, folks. Again, to win the game, you need five stones anywhere or three stones consecutive. Have you played the two-player game? I have not. Airline to Sea, I've heard so many good things about that. That one, and I really want to play um, uh, Watergate. Those two two-player games really want to play. Yeah, Raw, we, you would like Raw Stackfish for sure. I haven't played Tigers and Euphrates. I've played the other one. Um, hey, there's a clip in the house here. What is this? Real has a new favorite. Oh, <laughs> Man of Pan has dropped a clip of the video from earlier where I um, declare my love for someone new. <laughs> What'd you play there? Um, the nine. Jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise. Um, how come they have five cards? I was supposed to draw one. You have six in your hand, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to play the three here. Okay, now I have a six in my hand again. Okay. So I will play... This one right here. Okay, well... Well... <laughs> the deuce... Okay, so I've got to get another two there to beat that one. Um, let's go with a five here. Huh. Okay. Let's go with a four here. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Um, gosh. Slackfish. I've not played Airline C, but based on what I've seen, while this has a certain simple elegance to it, that seems to have an added layer where you can concede a hand to lose fear. Oh, interesting. So I should note this. Shot and Tom, we are playing the basic game. This is the standard game. You can play just one round and just see whoever wins. You can play multiple rounds. But in the box there, there are additional cards where you can add them. And these cards have special abilities. That's like the advanced variant. We haven't even touched that yet because we're enjoying the base game so so much so far. Um, oh, Michelle, what are you going to You went there. I got yes, I did. I went there. You went there. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's go. I'll go here. I'll go put the eight there. Draw one. All right, do, then. Do, 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 do. I'm going to put this here. Okay, so Michelle takes the fours, because uh, there are three cards on each side. Trip fours beats trip threes. Uh, so I'm going to lock this one up. Because if she gets this one, it, the game's over. Three in a row. But I'm going to lock it up with three nines. She cannot beat that. Even if she has a five, um, I have the best. So this goes to me. So I have one. And I need to draw. That is Michelle's turn. Huh. Huh, 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 huh. All right. I am going to place my yellow four there. All right. I'm going to put the five here. So I've got trip fives. If she can draw that final nine, she wins that one. But for now, I'm in the lead. Okay, um, I'm going to put my yellow six here. Okay. Ben Osteen's in the house. It says, I do like the element of card counting in this. I really like Balloon Cup or Piñata, which is... Yeah, I like... We have uh, Piñata, which is really good. Have we played that? Um, a long time ago. It's the one with the little meeple candies. And like you're, it's you're sitting on the, you have like a pinata, and it's same to stand, oh same card play where you're trying to get like a certain number, and then whoever gets it gets like more candy or whatever. I vaguely remember that. Yeah, game. it's it's been a while since we played it. Uh, oh, it's my turn. I'm gonna put what is this? Seven, eight. You have the eight. I have the three, four. Uh, this one, deuce. Six, seven, eight's already taken care of. You already took care of this one. You got a six over there. I'm going to go with... Doo, 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 doo. I'll put the seven over here. I got a... Michelle got a... Color run. 
So that's like a straight flush, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. So even if I get the third one, the color run beats it, so Michelle gets this one. Gracias. De nada. Wow, crushing me this game. Uh, let's go with... Uh, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. And again, you don't have to play it in order. You could have, like Michelle did, three, four, and then two. It doesn't have to be one, two, three, or three, four, two. You can, as long as it makes a straight, you're good. So I'm going to put a six here. Here. Griff Dog. Hey everyone, Shantan is one of my favorite two player smallpox games. Yeah, we just were introduced to it this weekend. Absolutely love, instant love, and we really wanted to play it tonight with y'all. So thank you. Steph Raccoon is in the house. Ben always steals my candies when we play Pinata. Hell, Ben. <laughs> okay, um, let's do this. Michelle's got the six. So I'm going to play the deuce. So that's trip deuces better than trip ones. So I get that. So the score is now three to two. Um, first to five, or if Michelle gets this one or this one, uh, she'll have three in a row and she'll win automatically. I can still play on this even though there's no... Score. Oh, sorry. No, this one's okay. locked down. My bad. If she gets this one, she wins automatically because it's three in a row. Panos, <laughs> the <must be> rude. <laughs> <laughs> is it my turn or your turn? Uh, it is. Oh, it's your turn. I got to draw. Okay. Um... <laughs> oh, man. Do you have that other one, two, three, four? Oh my gosh, there are a couple of eights out there. Michelle might have this. I think she has an eight in her hand. I'll put the seven over here. Ah, do I? I'll put the seven there and draw. If you have that eight, I'm done. Do you have the eight? Eight wins it. It's a possibility. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, wait, I'm not done yet. Do I, I have to get the seven of this suit. Is it out? The seven of this suit is still out there, so I could still theoretically win. Okay, so I just need Did to get, you? Uh, yeah, I, or I, I don't know if I can win, but I can stop you from here. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put, um, the... Oh, okay. How I'll, many of each? I'll put the three here and draw. How many of each number are there? Or uh, one through nine, and there are six suits, I believe. Yes, one through nine, six suits. 54 cards total. Thinker Themer's in the house. Hi, Thinker Themer. Thanks for joining us from the future. They're in Australia. Okay, so trip sixes. Oh. And we're down, so the, we have d gone through the deck, we just play, continue play until it's all over. And I think Michelle just drew the card I needed, so I'm going to cry pretty soon. <laughs> uh, I'll put the four here, and then we just play them out, folks, one at a time. So, I can only play it on, on the ones that have stones? Is that... Oh, yeah, the works. ones that are still open. Yeah, okay. so you have an open spot here. This is done basically anywhere. Yeah, okay. Play the seven and win. Okay, two. Um. Yeah, basically, if you have that seven, just play it somewhere, and that proves that I can't get that seven. You win. So I'll put a five here for my straight. And oh, slow. Really, you don't have the seven. You should have the seven. Um, I'm gonna play. Michelle's just making me uh, cry here. Uh, I'll put the three here to kill it, because I can't do anything else. Go ahead. Okay, so I do have one seven. Yeah. And, that's and the, I do have the other that's, seven. Ah, <laughs> that's the one I needed, because that's the only one. Oh, nice. So, uh, oh, wait a second. Wait, you took this one. That's one, two, three, four. Oh, uh, four. No, but then oh. it proves that I you have the other one, right? Because I, I yeah. don't have the seven. Yeah. That proves you have that. That is five. GG. Good game. Folks, that is shot and taught. Uh, Michelle's face is hilarious. <laughs> uh, Faker Themer said that in the future when Michelle wins, sorry, Ruel. And <laughs> it happened here, too. You you saw it first there in, in the future, folks. Uh, yeah, so that's shot and taught. That is, I, I don't know, I just, I love this game. It's um, a good game. And it, I just, I guess, you know, I like poker, so yeah. that was easy to And I think understand. this is, yeah, I think this is why, so you haven't played Lost Cities yet. No. Lost Cities is similar where you're on opposite sides try to do your thing 
uh, you play on one side, your opponent plays on the other. But it's more of a, uh, you have to put it in consecutive order, one through eight, I believe. Mm -hmm. And you're trying to play them on both sides, but there's some math involved at the end of the round, which I think I like this better because you don't have to do math. You know, so <laughs> in Lost Cities, you can double points, you can, you know, triple points, and then you add things up and subtract by 20. It, it's funky at first, but it works. Lost Cities is a great game. I like this because it's more approachable. As long as you, you're familiar with um, uh, poker, you're good to go, you know, so... That is Shot and Totten, folks. Thank you for joining us. We've got another great game coming up here. Uh, we're going to clean up here. I'm going to use the Force and... Whoop! Hi! Uh, <laughs> we're going to clean up here and play Ahiel next. And it's spelled A-R-R-A-I-A-L. -R -R but uh, it's a Portuguese word for... It's some kind of party, like a neighborhood party. Um, so since it's Portuguese, the R is, uh, sounds like an H uh, to us. So Thinker Themer loves uh, Lost Cities, yes. Um, Michelle should also yeah. be able to have claim that trip eight line two. Yeah, because of the sevens, right? Yeah. Thank you, uh, thank you all for uh, joining us. Um, we're going to set up Ahiel. Um, this game is from Pandasaurus. I uh, want to thank uh, uh, Danny and their team out there for sending it over. This one, I had never... Well, actually, I had heard of this game, but I wasn't familiar with it until Rado. Uh, we did a top three at three together. And it was our top three games that were uh, ranked 3,000 or below on BGG. So these are games that are like ranked fairly low for BGG. But, you know, we found some real gems there. And this is the one that I hadn't... One of the ones that Rado had mentioned that I had no idea was this good. And, you know, he had mentioned, oh, you know, um, him and Jen really liked it. And it was like, um, like, like a Tetris-style game. And right when he said Tetris, like, oh, boom. Michelle uh -huh. probably like this. She loves Tetris, and you love spatial games with, like, the polyominoes and stuff. Yeah. Um, so once Rado mentioned that, I was like, okay, real, you know, my curiosity was piqued. And um, I'll be... Um, wait, do we have colors? No, we don't have colors. Remember the meeples? I was just, just kidding. Yeah. Um, yeah, once he started raving about it, I was immediately interested, and sure enough, we played this weekend. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, so I'm going to get this here. Let me shuffle up the cards. Actually, we're going to show you what we're doing as we do it here. Let me use the force. Uh, Slackfish says, again, from the BGG page, Ahiel is the name given to traditional Portuguese summer celebrations during which people take to the streets eating, drinking, and having fun in the old neighborhoods that are bedecked with arches, colorful balloons, popular music, and the aroma of sweet basil. I think the, the basil oh. thing, that's interesting. Well, that was one of the, the one of the things that we saw, right? Yeah. Okay. It's on one of the uh, tiles, folks. And um, actually, uh, well, let's set up first, and we'll uh, get going here. But thank you again for hanging out, folks. Uh, this is Ahiel from Pandasaurus. Well, doesn't it say something about um, like it when like somebody is courting another person, they give them a oh a, yeah a pot of basil. That's right. So, we get the man, Manjarico token. So, is the J soft in Portuguese I as well? I don't know. I thought it was like so much like Spanish, but apparently it's not. Yeah, so I'm going to call it Manjarico. This token is for a start player. And in Portugal, basil is closely associated with the summertime fest, feast of St. Anthony and St. John. During this, these festivals, it is customary for young men to offer their girlfriends a manjarico, or potted basil plant, along with a small flag carrying a romantic message. So, uh, there it is right there. A uh, little dessert with basil and a romantic message. <laughs> <laughs> Thinker Themer says, sweet basil sold me. Let's go, yeah, it, right? You're, you, Thinker Themer's in, nice. Um, those, these are the double meeples and the round tracker. Uh, they give you a couple of extra man, man, manjarico? manjarico tokens, which are just tossed aside for now. Along with these baggies. Oh, and these are the extra yeah, the party visitors. goers. Yeah. So these are your neighborhoods. <laughs> Those are the party crashers. The party crashers, yeah. Them. And then these are all the meeples. Um, your visitors for your partiers, right? Uh, Michelle and I will each have a neighborhood. We're going to draw cards from here. And it is a polyomino game where you're going to fill <coughs> in uh, your neighborhood here, your street. It's like a street festival, right? So I was thinking about this when we played. We were talking about how this reminds me of um, the 
neighborhood parties in the Philippines, the block parties there uh, in the barangay, the neighborhood. Um, they have all kinds of festivals, uh, pretty much almost any excuse to have a festival. You have everyone there. Um, mainly for like a religious holidays, um, at least in the, where my family is from in Luzon, the big uh, part of the Philippines, the northern part. Um, yeah, any barangay or neighborhood that you go to has um, these type of uh, festivals. How come they didn't have any festivals when we were there? I don't know, you know, because I think when we went in like July, August, right? Yeah. Like yeah. The, the big ones are like for like Easter, you know, right after Easter they have like the springtime festival or whatever. Or maybe it's just an Easter thing. And then Christmas, of course, is big out there. But yeah, we just went a different time. Um, <laughs> what would your romantic message say, Ruel? <laughs> my romantic message is... Let's eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's eat and play games. <laughs> Uh, ben says, we had a pair of goldfinches feasting on our... Oh, Thai basil and basil plants. It's seen so full of food. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Nice. Yeah, Ben and Steph have on their... Um, I believe their outdoor deck or balcony, they have a like, little herb garden happening. Um, let me put this here. So we are in the first round here. Um, I am going to offer a manjarico to Michelle. Gracias. I don't know. Do they say gracias? I don't think so. I think it's... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'll put this here and here and then y'all you'll be able to watch my board and Michelle's board will be off camera for now we're almost into date snacks <laughs> <laughs> eat and play games gold for sure <laughs> uh, these are the cards here that have the little Tetris pieces right and what these do they're going to be on this board here and on your turn you get three action points one action is maybe to take one of these off the board and you will take that corresponding piece and place it on your um, board. Like if you took the piece off like this, you cannot rotate it. It must come into your board like this. And just like Tetris, you can place it anywhere here and then you will slide it down all the way down like so. If there's a gap to the left or to the right, you may slide it across, but otherwise you cannot rotate or you know whatever. And if it lands on another piece, stays there just like in tetris folks it's exactly like tetris um actually you want to throw one of these up there i'll put the maybe little... not the green one. Oh yeah thanks good call <laughs> or the blue one why don't you put a yellow one there please really the blue one shows up weird too it, it did last night yeah oh, look, uh, oh my little candy wrappers are flying looks like it's a fan oh uh let's show this off so here's one of the pieces folks. A raid. oh look oh we got a raid is that a raid really yeah oh who's raiding was... Rambeard uh, yeah. Gaming, yes. Let me put on the rain hat, folks. It's back to, oh, let me, can you take that piece off, please? Yeah. Thanks. Hello, Rambeard Gaming. Thank you for the raid. This is the raiding hat. Thank you for the raid. Much appreciated, my friend. Good to see you on here. Michelle and I are playing Ahiel, a game from Panasaurus Games. This is basically Tetris the board game. Um, it's a lot of fun. We just played it for the first time this weekend and we actually played like three or four times this weekend we enjoyed it yeah, so really much fun. yeah and uh so thank you for the raid much appreciated earlier we played shot and totten uh now we're playing ahiel we had just set it up so let's get going here use the force to get that uh the setup michelle's doing the setup right now as you set it up you'll see the yellow dots on there those have to go right there on place yep perfect on the little octagon they call it now on your turn uh we're gonna play three rounds here this is the round marker during the first round, you must place at least one piece per turn. Uh, and then by the second round, same thing. The third round, you must place at least two pieces per round. So what you do, you have three action points. Your actions are as follows. Take one of those pe um, cards, take the corresponding piece, and drop it into your neighborhood as shown there. So here, if I take that, I must drop it into my neighborhood like so. Okay. Your second action that you may do to spend one action point is rotate this clockwise. So this could be a first action. Then your second action, take one of those cards and take the piece, and now you can do it that way. So that's the way you're going to be able to rotate. Again, once it's on the board, you cannot flip around, rotate, or whatever. And they cannot be mirrored. It must be taken as is. So we play, and you know, you're going to drop pieces, and you know, like Tetris, you're really trying to stack them up um, you know, in order to fill in rows. Now, when you two uh, p 
pieces of the same color are touchings, such as this, orthogonally, cannot touch corners, right? It has to be orthogonally, at least one side meeting another side. Once you get two of them or more at the same time, you put a red, uh, the corresponding color meeple there. That's a visitor. That's one of your party goers in this um, little street of yours. And you check at that time. If you have the most, you get the double meeple, the couple. They will go there as well. So this is for a majority. So at the next turn, if Michelle has three reds that are touching, she would take the double meeple onto her side. We're going to play three rounds, and basically it's every meeple counts as one. The double meeple counts as two. Now there are these white meeples. These are visitors to your neighborhood. How do you get those in there? Glad you asked, Ruel. That, uh, for those to come in, when you complete a single row across, just like in Tetris, you know in Tetris they sort of like it blows up and gives you more room. Here, you move your little entrance to your neighborhood up one row. And you take one of the visitors and place it there. Those are the party crashes. The party crashes. They will go on to your entrance. At the end of the round, if you if you haven't done any mistakes or whatever, you're going to take your visitor and place it in your party. Okay? And again, these also count as one point. Now, if at any time... Oh, and then at the end of the round, as reminded here, you're going to drop this down to, um, to uh, two rows. Uh, the end of the round is when we cannot refill the octagon. So after... We take, at the end of the turn, you refill the octagon from the stack here, and eventually you're going to um, run out of cards, and that's the end of the round. Now, if at any time, let's say your thing gets really low, you've just really built poorly or whatever. If you, you can't... Poorly. You be poorly. <laughs> you built poorly. Yeah, what was the rule? Oh, you chose poorly. Uh, Indiana Jones reference for y'all. Um... <laughs> If you cannot place a piece that fits in here, right? So there's only one open row here. This cannot fit. You're going to lose your entrance. Okay? And that's a bummer. Why? Because, well, I mean, it helps you because now you can slide pieces in because there's a lot of room. But you will not be able to get visitors anymore, right? Those visitors, there's no entrance, no welcoming entrance. Visitors, visitors don't, you know, what kind of neighborhood is this without an entrance? They will not visit. <laughs> and let me just verify that. Once you remove, do not count towards your... Um... <laughs> Clay bean color. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, <laughs> James, I think that's a great idea. I'm glad you asked for well, Counter. <laughs> uh, so we start here. This is the two player start. And that's so we go three rounds and then we just count up the number of meeples we have. And that's the game, folks. Another really straightforward game, but puzzly. And Again, that word, elegant. Very streamlined, very cool game. Um, we're going to get going here. Thank you for joining us, friends. Uh, we're going to be playing this game, and then Michelle's going to take off, and I'm going to hang out, do some crosswords, and chill till about 8.30. My buddy Patrick's going to go um, stream, and I, I really want to rave and give him a little support because he's really enjoying the Twitch community hmm. thus far. Uh, any questions? Uh, you, you've played this plenty of times now. See. So, you see, yeah. <laughs> Um, so we both start there. There is that. And Michelle, since you won a shot in Totten, you will have the honors. Okie I'm going to take this piece. Okay. So that's her first action point. You get three action points per turn, folks. Okay, so that goes here. Sacrifice, if the level bar hits your pieces, you also lose any visitors. Correct, yes. Okay, and this visitor is upside down because she's drunk. Uh oh, borracho. <laughs> And I'm just going to turn that. Okay. Oh, sorry. This we were supposed to have three of these out. So let me move this this way. We're supposed to have one, two, three showing. So you can, sort of like Tetris, you know what's coming. Okay. Now Michelle refills um, clockwise, I guess. Yeah. And again, you just line up the yellow dots, and you're good to go. Thank you. Okay. De nada. De nada. I don't know if that's the same in Portuguese. Yeah, me neither. Uh, let me get this out of here. So, um, 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 I oh, will... These are discards? Yeah. Where do you want to put those? I'll just put them right here. That, that's okay. fine. Thanks. Let's see. I want... I'll take the red. No, I'll take the yellow. And... Again, you must do it exactly how it says on the card. So I'm going to drop it from here. A uh, little dude playing saxophone. 
<laughs> we like music in my parties. I don't know about y'all, but I'm, I'm all about the music. Uh, my second action, excuse me, I'll take the blue. Uh, and this looks like, hey, a dancer. So right next to the music man. Oop. Mine looks like, I don't know, it looks like a suitcase. But also I'm thinking it's like a boombox type thing. Yeah. Because the music. Yeah. There's a music. Hey, yeah, you want to throw that on the special camera? Well, we'll see, see if, if it, it shows, shows up. Because it. it's blue. Hey, sort of. Yeah, folks, <laughs> that looks like, I look like a lawnmower at first, but then it could be a, <laughs> a bag, right? I don't know what that is. I know, but there's a little music note that's kind of hard to see right yeah, there. Yeah, that's right. So. Patrick got marched in the house. That's Patrick. Patrick, we've been talking about you. That, we're going to raid Patrick after we're done here. Uh, Patrick, whenever you go live, uh, just let us know. I was going to play crosswords to you um, when live. <laughs> but Okay, so that was your... That was that my was second you. move. Yeah. Uh, for my third, do I want that red? I don't know about that red. I'm going to rotate for my third move. Okay, and then this fills in there. And again, just line up the yellow dots, folks. And that's the end of my turn. These slide in here. Hmm. Just like that. Okay. Move ben says it's a away. travel case. A tourist, maybe? Yeah. Uh, I think that's... Flying in for the party. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, these are discards. Okay. Um, I'm going to move this as my first. Okay. Oh, good lord. I don't know if that's going to help me. Uh oh. Um, I'm going to take this blue one. Okay. Oops. And put it somewhere. Maybe here. Okay. <laughs> so that's sec Michelle's second action, uh, right? She had an action to rotate, action to take a card. I don't want to use either one of those. So I'm just going to rotate. Okay. And let's see your refill. turn. Refill. Okay, hey, darn it. Just hoping you, yeah, nice. Save yourself that block, those blocks. Um, I'm going to take... Hmm. I'll take the blue. So again, that one must come down like this. Um, I'm going to... Hmm, where do I slot it? See, I, this is where I wish I could have rotated. Go here, or no, I'm gonna go here. I'll fill in this spot here. So, I have two that are touching. I get a blue meeple party, and I do have the majority, so I get the double meeple there. Party, Yours party. They're already drunk, they're yeah. laying down. They're laying down. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> um, did I? So, that's one. I'll take the red one, and it comes down straight down like this. And fills in, so I've filled in a row. I have a white visitor, and I move this up one. Your white visitor is already drunk too. Yeah, they're just, they're all <laughs> laying down. Uh, so that was one, two. Oh, get up and dance. <laughs> you got music playing, right? Uh, I'm gonna rotate for my third action. Okay, and then we refill. Okay, and then we bring in new cards. And you just go until you cannot refill the octagon, and then uh, the round is over, and we'll do some scoring. Patrick says, anything with Tetris pieces gets me interested. Same. Yeah, Michelle's a huge um, Tetris-style game. Just picked up Isle of Cats, New York Zoo, and Copenhagen. Nice. New York Zoo, I really want to play. That's the Uwe Rosenberg, right, uh, Patrick? Isle of Cats, I love. Isle of so, Cats is fantastic. Why Strong have, Copenhagen buys. Nice. Is this all uh, discard? discard? Okay. Yep. So I'm going to take this one. This guy's thirsty because he's been dancing too Ooh, much. Nice. Okay. Um, wow, I don't want either one of those like that. I haven't played Copenhagen um, or Copenhagen. Games of Fires in the house. Hi. Like all of I will move that and I will take this one. Nice. Noise. Yeah. Homie's gonna fit right there. Okay. And then we fill. Was, oh. Griff Dog, I just bought Baron Park in the expansion over the weekend. I'm not playing it yet. You know, it's I'm um, glad you brought uh, Baron Park, uh, Griff Dog, because uh, when we were talking to Arado, he had, I asked him like why this game sort of flew under the radar, and he mentioned that it was released around the time of Baron Park. So Baron Park is awesome. Um, and this one, I can see why it flew under the radar because it's, it's it's got some similarities, I guess, with the polyominoes, I guess. Uh, Baron Park is fun, yeah. 
Van Ryder, yeah, uh, Patrick, uh, today's stream is brought to you by Van Ryder Games and Game Brewer. Uh, those are our two sponsors today. Uh, but these games are from Panasaurus and uh, Yellow. Okay, I'm done. Okay. Oh, I completed um, a row. A row. Okay. Get some of those unscrupulous visitors <laughs> to your place. I'm going to go with uh, this red one. So that comes straight down. I'm going to put it here. Dee, 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 dee. Oh, I, guess, <laughs> I will not be humming the Tetris song for copyright check. I get a red one. Yeah, I, I moved it up. And then I also get the double because I have the majority in red. Uh, the second one I'm going to do, I'm going to get this green one, the block. So I can fill up this. I have filled a row. So I get a visitor and this goes up one. Third, I can't put that there. I'll just I'll turn this this way. So three action points. I am done. Now it's Michelle's turn. We line these up with this yellow circles. Really? That way? Yep, that's the way it is. Ah, <sighs> this is not gonna be my finest moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? I'm playing detail. Oh yeah, so uh, folks, Patrick, he's the one we're gonna be um, raiding. Detmar is playing Detective City of Angels. So please, let's. Uh, <laughs> if anyone wants to keep up with the theme of the night, right? Michelle needs to okay. stop helping her while I turn the pieces for her. Hey, it's okay. Uh, I like the theme on this one and the wheel with the force orientation, so you cannot mirror the tile. Yeah, really cool idea for this mm. game. Ag agreed. Raid incoming. Thanks, Slackfish. <sighs> I'm assuming it's a uh, Bros Murph. Wait, I did one. Okay, and this is going to be my second. Yep. Wait. <laughs> it's right there. Yep. Right there. Yep. <sighs> the Brothers Murph is raiding. Yeah, Brothers Murph. Woo! Going to use some magic here, or use the force. Thank you for raiding us, the Brothers Murph. They're in the house. Thank you so much for hanging out, friends. Um, I, my name is Ruel Gaviola. This is my wife, Michelle. Hello. And we are playing Ahiel, Ahiel uh, from Panasaurus. This is a great uh, polyomino game. It's got. The, it's basically Tetris, the board game. Uh, we love it. We just. We finally got to play it just this weekend for the first time, and it was just instant, instant love. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Again, I've got the rating hat in honor of our friends, the Brothers Murph. Uh, thank you for the raid, uh, friends, and I'm going to use the force in order to get the camera back on here. Yeah, I use the force. Uh, this <laughs> is the game here. Slackfish has gifted subs. Yes, Slackfish, thank you so much for the gifts. Um, let me get oh. the little things here. Do you have yours, Michelle? <laughs> I, I just pushed it oh. out of my reach. Uh-oh. Okay. So again, uh, friends, as if you're new to the channel, I've got to do this. Um, we do old school analog alerts, so alert, alert, we have... Five new gift subscriptions. Subscriptions. Thank you, Slackfish. As always, Slackfish is our most generous. Um, wait, where, where's... Okay, five... Wait, five subs. <laughs> it's professionally run around here, folks. Uh, Slackfish is so generous. Thank you, Slackfish, so much. You did five gift subs to everyone, and that means we do the gift, gift, gift. Gift, gift, gift. Gift, 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 gift. gift, gift, gift. gift. Thank you, Slackfish. Woo! The gift hat. Oh, I'll take off the... Viking rain hat and the gift can't, hat. Can't have it all. Can't have it all, yeah. Michelle made both of these hats for me. She's the mostest, or the hostess with the mostest for the... I was going to try to make up a rhyme. I'm so bad at that. You got to work on that. I really got to work. <laughs> Hornus34 is in the house. Thank you for joining us. I saw Amby Ronan. Thank you, Amby, for hanging out. Always good to see you on here. Uh, Games of Fire. Yeah, all the subs. Folks, enjoy your subs. Uh, well, thank you so much, Sacrifice, as always, for your support. Uh, James in the House, Hornets 34. The Brothers Murph, as always. Nick and Mike, thank you for hanging out. Um, Griff Dog's here. Grizzly Diz is in the house. Always good to see you. We got 44 new people in here. Folks, welcome, welcome, welcome. So good to see you. Magic Moose Moose says, what's your uh, three favorite games to play as a couple? Great question. I'm going to use the force here. Whoop. Um, is it my turn or your turn, Michelle? It's your turn. Okay. So, our favorite games to play as a couple. I'm going to put Michelle on the spot. Do you have any favorites right off the top of your head while I take my turn? This one. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is definitely one that we really enjoy. I like um, Raiders. Raiders of the North Sea, excellent game. Um, oh, there's so many. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take this here. So what I do is I take this card, and then the way 
it's oriented is the way it's going to slide into my neighborhood, these partiers. And this is going to go here and connect there. Oh, Crokinole, for sure. Crokinole, yes. He said the magic word. Daryl <laughs> Lamar is in the house. Thank you for joining us. I'm going to throw more names out, and I'm going to say, no, that one. <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah. There's so oh, many my gosh. From. Oh, I'm going to have that. Uh, I'm afraid to do that. Um, be afraid. Be very afraid. Yeah. If I do my second move, I'm going to rotate... Oh my gosh. I'll do third move rotate as well. I'm a little uh, worried about this. Okay, so this one comes in like that. And that's the end of my turn. We go here. Okay. So Wait, I'm we got a new follower. This. Folks, we also have a new follower. That means, um, let's see, it is X Metal X. Uh, X Metal Neck X. Thank you for following. Uh, whenever you follow, we have our friend Felicia the Follow Fish comes in. Thank you for the follow. And. Felicia has done her job. Um, now she gets to leave. So we say, bye, bye Felicia. Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, thank you, Slackers. Yes, Felicia. Uh, Felicia's a new um, analog alert. So we do analog alerts here, folks. I'm still learning OBS, but things are coming along nicely. But we love the analog alerts. It's so much fun. Yeah, I don't think the analog alerts are going to change. They're, They're never going to change. All yeah. the technology. <laughs> Slivers in the house. Thank you for joining us, Slivers. I don't like these these cards here. Yeah, <laughs> and then I got two by Felicia. Uh, JG, so. first time here. Oh, thanks for joining Why? us, JG. Is it JG Maind? Thank you for joining us. I hope you uh, enjoy. We are playing two. a two-player game of Ahiel from Pandasaurus. Okay, I just I turned it twice because I just didn't want yeah. any of those. Same here. Uh, Slivers. Oh, you got Tidal Blades. Nice. Played my first game. Loved it. Oh, good to hear, Slivers. Yeah. I need, I need to play that game again. I got crushed my first solo game. It is so good. Games of Fire says, don't ever change the analog alerts we love. Thank you, Games of Fire. And you have been one of our big supporters as well. We appreciate you. Um, it's my turn, right? Yes. Boo Earns. This is not what I wanted to see. I was hoping to get... Okay, here's what I'll do. Here is what I'll do. I'm going to rotate for my first move. Second move, I'll take this one, the yellow... And I'll go, it comes in like this, and it goes straight down here. Oh, man. Third More move. More people at your party. I know. <laughs> well, we have good music at my party. Oh, I, I think we're still cleaning up the town for people to come. <laughs> uh, this one goes over here. And these slide in, and <sighs> that goes there. Yeah, this is a tough draw. Tough draw right now. Uh, JG uh, <laughs> says, I stream with my sister Melissa over at Room 51. Okay, really wish we could have come up with analog alerts. Hey, you know, we don't have a, there's no trademarks on them. Make your own, for your own analogs. We'd love to see more uh, analog alerts, folks. So that's one. This is two. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got this one, too. The, is this yellow or orange? It's yellow, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Yellowish orange? Yeah. Okay, so I got that. So I got a yellow person. And I get the couple because I have the majority. Okay, yeah. Wow. Okay, so I finished a row. Nice. I get a party crasher. Woohoo! Okay, now. Yep, got it, Slackfish. Thank you. I don't want any of those. I'm just gonna have to turn it. Oh. All right. Mm, mm, mm. Oh boy. I'm going to turn it twice and then take the red. So, one click, the second click, and I'll take this one and it's going to go here. Who shuffled these cards? I know, right? These are tough. So, it's going to go straight down and it's going to complete two rows. One, two. So, I just go up here and I get two rows, two meeples. Now, you'll notice the reds, uh, these connected. I don't get more meeples on here. If I have a separate section that's not touching, like two more reds here, then I would get another meeple. But this one just expands my previous red uh, section. Whoops. Ran over a piece of paper over here. And it is Michelle's turn. Uh, let me refill this. Uh, just match up the yellow things there. And that's the final card of the deck. We continue until we cannot refill the octagon. Well, this was not a good round for me. <laughs> okay, so this is going here. 
I get a yellow meeple. We got two people at my party. Mm -hmm. We got three party crashers. Nice. Okay. Ah. Did you move your um roll your this thing yeah. up? Yeah. Okay, do. Okay. Oh well, actually, this will work for me now. Oh yeah, nice. Do, 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 do. Oh. <laughs> I, I shouldn't sing that Tetris uh, theme song. I don't want that one. Hey, we got a new follower. Cool. Uh, let me get. Uh, I'm just it, gonna turn it. Yep. Okay. It is. Uh, oh, we got two new followers. Thank you, friends. Uh, JG JG Mained and EB Sue Thirteen. Uh, let me use the force. Boop. And to for the new followers, we have our friend Felicia the Follow Fish. Uh, she has two new followers. Thank you, Felicia. Uh, her job is done, so she leaves now. Everybody now. Bye, Bye Felicia. Felicia. <laughs> And now it is my turn. Um, so there are still things in the octagon, so I can go. But I won't be able to go. Uh -huh. Unless I just turn stuff. Which I might just... Well, I have to place at least one. So I'm going to go one, two. That was one. That's two. And then my third move, I'm taking this yellow, yellowish orange. I'm going to drop it down here. So you will still get one last turn because the octagon is full, so you must place at least one. Barry's in the house. Hello, Barry. I don't like these cards. But, okay. I love it. Everyone's saying bye, Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are great. So that's one. I'm going to take this. I'm just going to have to have a hole in my party. Uh-oh. Okay, but that is touching yep. another green one, so... Uh -oh. We have three people at my party. Okay. Oh, you get the couple, too, because you have the most green oh, touching. Oh, sweet. Now we have um, five people at my party. <laughs> you also completed a row, even though there's a hole in that one. Right oh, the one it. above it. Oh, sweet. Yeah, Raise the roof. Raise the roof. Okay. See, my, my people are still standing because yeah. they're all drunk. Yeah, we're, we're having a great party here. <laughs> Um, so that's the end of the round because we can no longer refill the octagon. Uh, let me get the rule book just to make sure we do everything correct here. Where did I put the rule book? Did I give it to you? No. Oh, is that it? Uh, no, that's for the other game. Wow. Oh, here it is. Okay, end of the round, folks. So what we do is uh, reshuffle the deck, uh, finish refilling the octagon, refill a card row, drop entrance bars. Okay. So what we do, we drop our entrance bars by two. One, two. We transport any visitors into our little party in our neighborhood. Woo! Woo, party. Those stay as is. We're going to go to the second round, and then we're going to reshuffle these and go again. All right. Oh, James has uh, redeemed hydrate points. And Friday Night Games in the house. Hello, thanks for joining us. We've got a Bruno fan with Games of Fire. So let's hydrate. Thank you, friends. Bruno's asleep back here, and I don't know where I put the little Bruno face. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, here he is. Felicia. Okay. So uh, we have Felicia, but we also have Bruno. So boom, 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 boom. thanks for um, <laughs> the Bruno fan. Much appreciated, friends. Griftoff's talking about Secret Santa. I'd love that you're uh, doing that. Um, I've in never. India. Yeah, I've never done that. Wow, that's cool. Someone in India. Nice. Thanks for the Bruno emotes, folks. Drop those Bruno emotes if you have them. Always appreciated. Oh, we got to do the, the dog um, Secret Santa. Yeah, we have a dog Secret Santa for Bruno. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Desiree from uh, Renegades, uh, she's a, uh, her and her uh, partner are big uh, dog fans. So they have a corgi, <laughs> we have a pug, and they're do we're doing a dog Secret Santa. It's going to be pretty funny. Okay, so f now we refill this. Um, I think we've done all the steps, right? Reshuffle the deck, refill, oh, refill this. <laughs> And then we um, drop the interest bars and that's Okay, we're good. So in this round, same thing. Uh, must place at least one, and Michelle will go first. Huh. Still don't want any of those. <laughs> <sighs> well, no, I guess I can take that red one yep. once I turn it. Okay, so I'm going to turn that. Wait, oh, wait. No. Um, Slackfish says, I think Michelle finished that last round, so Ruel should start this one. Yeah, I think you Is did. That right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you know what? Because you did the. 
I did that yellow. They needed the one with the uh, space. Yeah. Thank you, Slackfish. Okay. Ah, I'm glad someone pays attention to this stuff. <laughs> I'm, I'm so bad at that. Uh, I am going to go with... Um, doo -doo -doo. I'll take this red. So that comes in like this. <sighs> and then I will rotate... Second move, third move, take this blue one. That'll drop here, and that raises the roof. Raise the roof. Raise the roof, and then get some visitor. Okay, would you know that that's fine because those were terrible uh, <laughs> the pieces tiles, for me. Okay, well, good. I don't know if this is going to be any better though. Okay, there's that. Okay. Yeah, I don't want it. In Friday Night Game position. says I participated in one this year. Excited. Oh, cool. Play will begin with this player seen immediately to the left of the player who ended the previous round. Thank you, uh, Sackfish, for clarification. So if I do that, oh, that's not even going to be in the right position. Ah! Uh oh. <laughs> All right, well, I'll take this blue one. Anticipate, anticipation of an unknown game extent. That's so cool. You know, I don't, Patrick, are you still in the uh, chat? Detmar P. Uh, he did something really cool where he had a bunch of games he just traded blind. So he listed his games on BGG, said, hey, here's a list of the games I have. Let's, I'll do a trade for anything. So he wasn't concerned about value anything, and he got all kinds of great stuff. I ended up trading uh, some games with him. I ended up with his old copy of um, Junk Art and um, what's the other one? Junk Art and um, Pictomania, which are two games I really want to play. That yeah, there is. Okay, cool. Demar, Demar P. Thank you. Um, so Patrick, right after this, I think I'm just going to pass on the crosswords. Are you going to be? Are you going to be streaming right at eight thirty, or are you going to stream? Let me know, so I, I can I can play a crossword um, until eight thirty if you need me to, to if you need to get ready. Uh oh, Michelle plays three. Wow, nice. I'm not optimal, but okay. Uh, oh, can we do this clockwise? Yeah. Okay. One, two. How do you say this again? Ah, Ahio. 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 Detmar, I'll get ready now. Uh, just getting lost in Star Wars Minecraft. Nice. Uh, I'll take this one. So that's my first move. It's going to drop straight down from here. My second move will go like this. And my third move will take that one. So I can drop it straight down here. Oh, I got that red locked in. I still need to do that. Okay. Uh, this comes in here. Well, that happened to me the last game. I had like yeah. all the reds. Yeah. And then this one goes here. Slide these over. Well. And here we go. And move this just a little bit over there. Girls, Game Shelf is raiding us now. Whoa! What's <laughs> up? Wow! Woohoo! Another raid, folks. So I get to do the magic trick here. Put on the raiding helmet. Thank you, Girls Game Shelf. Welcome. Thank you for the raid. Much appreciated. For those of you who are new, my name is Ruel Gaviola. It's my wife, Michelle. Hello. Uh, we play games here on Tabletop tonight, Monday through Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific. Uh, we are playing Two for Tuesday tonight. We have played um, Shot and Totten from Yellow Games. And right now, we are playing Ahiel from Pandasaurus. Uh, if you've never been here before, watch. I can use the force to get us to a new screen. All right. Uh, those aren't the droids you're looking for. Um, <laughs> Michelle has gotten her turn. This is basically Tetris the board game. We really dig it. Thank you again for the raid. Thanks for hanging out. Um, and we're just going to continue playing. I'll keep the raiding hat on for y'all. Thank you so much. Okay, so this is your turn now. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Well... I can take that block. I'll take the, this block here, the square one, the green. Drop it straight down here. I have completed a row, so this bumps this up and gets me a stranger. <laughs> stranger danger. And then... Uh, second move. Uh, let's go with uh, this one here. I can move here. How much green? Oh, you have a bunch of green touching. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll go this way. And then third move. I'll take this one and drop it straight down here. And that's two, so I get a green meeple. 
And that is the end of my turn. We refill going oh, clockwise. Here. There. Yeah. And there. And these come up okay. here. Dead last again's in the house. Hello, dead last again. Okay, so Book of Nerds in the house. Hello, Nerds. Book of Nerds. Good to see you, John. John and I and Amanda, we do board in East LA every Tuesday at 3 p.m. We hung out, had a great time playing Suro tonight. It's a Neeps is in the house. Thanks for joining us. I love the, uh, is that a Kraken or is that an octopus? Thank you. It's a Neeps. Ambi Rona is in the house. Mm -hmm. Always good to see Ambi. Ambi, are you doing any puzzles uh, lately? We love the puzzle uh, streams. Oh, wait. Was this like this? It was. I don't remember. I'll line up the yellow dots. I can't remember where I got it from now. Yeah, you know, I think it was like that. Okay. Okay. Uh, wait, no, you know what? I wanted to turn it. That's yeah, yeah. what I wanted Rotate. to do. Yep. Okay, didn't I turn it twice? I don't remember. I don't know. House rule. House okay. rule. So that's my one cheat for today. Ambie says I had to use my table for filming some stuff, but I might start another puzzle tomorrow. Oh, cool. I really want to do a um, puzzle um, again on the stream. So, I think that was my three, no? So, that was one turn. Yep. Two, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Oh. All right. Wow. I don't know these pieces. <laughs> I know. Yay, yay. I feel like after the first time we played this, this has gotten much more difficult. I'm going to go one. Gosh, really? I've got to place at least one. The first time we played this, I felt like it was so easy. Yeah. Okay, I'll, my second one, I'll take this one. Drop it straight down from here. My third one, I'm just going to move it like this and fill one in. Okay, done. Alrighty then. Oh, cool. Puzzles on YouTube. I'm gonna turn so that. Has anyone played floor plan? Yeah. My niece just got it. Yeah, I played uh, the uh, the sample floor plan that they gave out uh, like last year, just like the single sheet. It, it was cool, but I'd like to play the full game. Uh, ben says a good roll right, though I think version two is already the worst. Got it. Okay, so my third one is going to be this, and I get. Yellow. So I've got one, two, three, four yellows together. Oh, That's more than Michelle yours. takes away the a majority. She has four. I have three. If she would have just gotten three, the the tie remains with me, but she got four, so she gets the yellow couple now. Two meeples. Nice. Okay, and that was it for me. So this is... Book of Nerds with the band hammer. Look at that. Nice. That's your business now. <laughs> John made a bunch of uh, new hammers. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at my one of my meters is standing out on his head. He's also <laughs> drunk. A party over there. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm gonna go with uh oh man. Darn it. Okay, I'll go with this blue one. That's this lady's gonna go straight down, it's gonna leave all gap right there unfortunately but my second move I'm going to take the red drop that straight down that will fill in this row so that moves up one and a visitor and my third move I'll just rotate because I don't want that piece and then this one comes in like so and then this one comes in like so oh we gotta match the dots there it is and then we're getting close to the end of the round, the second round, folks. Huh, okay. I'm gonna take this blue one. And I will take this yellow one. Hmm. Down so from Big Bar Games. Get yep. another party going. I think that's the one I played, Ben. And. I will take this blue one here and put it right there. I don't know if I I took a um, 
point and equal for this one. Oh, I don't think you do. Okay. okay. So that's the end of the round? Yes. Okay, so we'll re go ahead and refill those, and then we'll do scoring. So go ahead and drop your party goers in here, and then drop your Yay. thing twice. One, two. One, two. Oh, okay. okay. Uh oh. My roof is low. Oh, man, oh man. <laughs> so this is the final round. Uh, so you are the final one that turn again, so I will go mm. first. Shuffle these up, folks. This is the last round. Thanks again for joining us. Um, we are tabletop tonight. We have played two fun two-player games. This is two for Tuesday. Thanks for the emotes, Book of Nerds. There are all the emotes there. And uh, we have one final round. This round, you must place two pieces. Okay. <laughs> I yeah. don't know if that's going to happen it's getting on, tight. over here. Getting tight. Not with those. Okay, we'll see here. So I will, I'm will. i first, though, so maybe you'll get some pieces that you need. Okay, I lied. I could use those shapes. All right, so here's that. Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna take this one. This is gonna give me some breathing room. This drops in here. Again, this has just enough room to go in and I complete one row so it goes up by one and one maple. My second move. Wow, I'm gonna take this one for my second. And that meets the requirement of grabbing two in this round. Then my third move, I'm just gonna go like this. Oh, we forgot to do this. This was supposed to be up. Now these come in. Uh, that goes like this. And this one goes like that. Let's go here. There's a discard. <laughs> Why do you put them like that? Yeah, Psycho, it's maybe hard to keep visitors around. Seems like the entrance house is going to run into your pee. Yep, that's what usually happens. Okay. Thanks, Gavin Fam. Thank you, uh, James, for the emotes. That's one. Talking about floor plan version two. two. Nice. Okay, so I'm keeping track. That's two. Yep. I completed a row. Nice. So I get one of these guys, and that moves me up one. Correct. A little more breathing room. Okay. Um, can I use any of that business over there? Um, no. You still have two moves, right? No, that was my second. Oh, your second, yeah. And now you have to place two tiles this round. Corner of the round rule. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you know what? I will just take this one and put it here, and I will get a blue party goer. Oh, nice. So I've got three blues together. How many do you have? I have one, two, three. Nope, I only have two. Michelle has taken the lead in the blue. See, my party's just getting started. Just getting started. Okay. Uh, go ahead and refill those, please. Oh. So I may have room for those. Oh, my goodness gracious. What can I do here? Come on, red. That red's not good. Oh, and I've got to place two. I can do one there. Oh, yeah. My, my entrance. Uh, we're going we're gonna to get hurt here, folks. One and then two. Yeah, there's no way. Okay. Um, one. Two. This yellow, can it fit? Yep, fits perfect right here. And then three. That also fits perfectly. Right here. But yeah, this, this next <laughs> round, I'm going to be dead. Oh, well. Okay, and then Michelle's going to get... What did I do? I did this one and this one, right? Yep. Uh, this comes over, and then this one fills, and then we refill these. All right. Is it? Is it all right? Not for me. <laughs> oh, these were these? Oh, that's the supply. I almost put them in my thing here. Okay, well, I can use this one. Daigle's in the house. Hello, Daigle. Thanks for hang hanging out. Oh, Slackfish. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. We forgot he's something, saying, folks. Yeah, he, he said we're only putting... We forgot to take out cards. Uh, we're supposed to take one set out. Hey, folks, we're playing the uh, Gaviola Game Night variant. <laughs> Thanks for... Oh, my gosh. I knew we forgot something. 
Oh my god. Yeah, so uh, for two players, you're supposed to take out once uh, eight cards, basically. A set of um, one complete set. So hey, fun. Okay, I can't do anything else, so I'm yeah. just going to turn twice. Okay, now you do have to place two things. Uh, so that's going to make you lose your entrance. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'm just gonna have to lose my entrance. Yep. Lose your entrance. Okay, so party's closed. The police are coming. Mm -hmm. So I lose that guy too, huh? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, that makes sense because then you would have a lot more room. One, yep. Two. Yeah. But you have to place two pieces. You want to place one now. Oh, now I can place. Yeah. Oh. So go ahead and okay. take that back, and then yeah. I'm yeah. See, that's place. that totally makes sense. We we had way too many pieces here. Okay. So, yeah, we were supposed to play with less cards, so why don't we just finish out this round and we'll call it. Okay. Okay, cool. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Um, yeah, thanks for uh, verifying. I was wondering, like, why is this so much more crowded than the first time we played? There were more people at these yeah. parties. They, they heard about our neighborhood parties and they just loved it so much, folks, that everyone started coming over. So they were socially distant and yeah. <laughs> wearing masks. So um, I started this round, so you've ended it, so that should be it. Okay. Okay. We've got all the people at my party. Yeah. So here we go, folks. It looks like you can, from how many pieces are still on the table? Yeah. So basically what we had to do, friends, is take out a complete set of these. So it's like two greens, two yellows, two reds, and two blues. Uh -huh. And that's what we forgot to do. So, <laughs> okay. hey, that's what happened. Um, yeah, they heard about Bruno. That's why everyone showed up. <laughs> now what you do, you just take uh, the meeples. So I'm going to drop this one down and oh. just count them up. The singles are one point each. The doubles are two points. You really got me on those majorities. You took those majorities away from me. See, mine are still standing. <laughs> we, we started partying way too early. That's, that's right. That's yeah. right. See, I was asleep. still setting up. <laughs> yeah, you fell asleep. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 20? Oh, really? 25? Mm -hmm. That's not even close, folks. I had a 14. Wait, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Yeah, 4, oh my gosh. GG, another great game. Michelle, she's won like almost every single time we played. I think it was like 3 and 1 or 4 and 1 or something like that. But yeah, good game. I feel like it gets, well, I mean, this time we didn't have the proper amount of cards. Yeah. But I feel like it gets a little more difficult each time we play this. Yeah. I think yeah. we start thinking too much. Yeah, overthinking <laughs> it, but yeah, GG. So, folks, even though we messed up the rule, you saw basically how it's played. We just forgot to take out some cards. We played the ultra hard variant. Uh, let me go back over here. Whoop. Uh, so, yeah, that was Ahael. Uh, yeah, is this Babel? Thanks for joining us. I may have to check this one out. Yes, please do. I I, I think it's a, such a fun game. How old is this game? Like, when was it? First, Honest, um, I think it's, out. like, just one or two years old. It's not that old. I want to say, like, 2018, maybe. Oh. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so good. Uh, we are, let me check if Patrick is live yet. Uh, looks like he's live. So we're going to raid Patrick. Folks. Thank you again for joining us. I really appreciate your time. Thanks for hanging out. We always enjoy our um, hanging out here. Tomorrow, it's just going to be me, but I have a special guest. It is Omari Akil, the designer of Hoop Gods and Rap Gods. We are, I, I'm so excited to have him on. Uh, we're going to uh, hang out and chat for a little while here on the channel, and then he's going to teach me how to play Hoop Gods, which is in its last like two days of um, on Kickstarter. It's been funded like twice over, um, but um, we're going to hang out with Omari. If you have any questions that you'd like to ask him, please hit me up on social media. I'd love to ask questions that y'all want to ask because whenever we do the interviews, I, I get so focused in that I, I miss a lot of chats. So I'd love to hear uh, any questions you may have for Omari. Drop them, hit me up on social media at Ruel Gaviola. Um, let me see, let's see here. Uh, thank you, uh, Amanda, for dropping all the links. Uh, the international aspect of this hobby is so fun. Agreed. Right? Yeah, like, again, no other uh, game that I can think of has this theme, right? This Portuguese street party theme? I have never seen one. I mean, but, you know. My, my knowledge of games is <laughs> much smaller than yours. <laughs> but, I mean, it's well, something you don't really hear much about. Like, right. You know, so I think that's neat that they that they would do a game based on this. So, um, yeah. Uh, let me check the chat before we get out of here. I love getting a different flavor of games. Of Portugal, yes, mm -hmm. agreed. Uh, 2018, uh, James says, if you want to check out, uh, yeah. See y'all tomorrow, folks. Yes, um, Omari is great. So please come back. Uh, James is back to hoop guys. Yeah, I'll probably back it, you know, tomorrow night. I, I just forgot to, but 
we love rap gods um and omari yeah he does a lot um for this uh board game community we'll talk to him more uh we'll talk more to him tomorrow 7 p.m pacific here uh me and omari akil talking about his uh, journey in uh game design and also we're gonna play he's gonna teach me hoop gods we'll play a game all right uh we're gonna hang out folks i'm gonna shut this down then we're gonna go raid patrick all right thanks again have a great night everybody see you later bye, bye.